OK, Gary, just let me get myself settled here. Oh, good afternoon. How you doing? Oh, you did an L.A. show today, didn't you? Yeah, actually it was an L.B. show. <laughs> L.B.? Yeah, laid back. Laid back, man. <laughs> How what, you doing? I'm all right. What you up to today, then? Um, I'm now going to go home and do some more laying back. Hey, man, you're I'm, in one of those kind of moods. Yeah, I'm going to slob down in front of the telly. Great. Oh, that's nice. You're not going to listen to the show. Well... That's nice, isn't it? That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Radio. All right, well, thank you. What? Bye. Bye. You're listening to Steve Wright, the guy who has the perfect body for radio. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, good afternoon. This is young Steve Wright, Bank Holiday Monday, FM 88 to 90.2. I love it. FM. afternoon boys we've had such a morning we've been up mfi trying to get some new furniture for the studios <laughs> i love bank holidays don't you coming up on five past three we're fm and am this afternoon hope you're okay and hope you're having a good old bank holiday well we'll let you know what's in the show in just a moment the weather this afternoon most of the uk is partly cloudy breezy and cool and around 50 degrees on average 
Currently, Glasgow is drizzly with 10 degrees, 11 degrees in Belfast and cloudy showers. Manchester, 12 degrees. Birmingham, cloudy and 13 degrees. Cardiff has showers this afternoon and 12 degrees, 14 degrees in London and partly cloudy. And Plymouth has showers and around 13 degrees. We're going to be a little more mellow this afternoon, but not too much more mellow. That was Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers and Don't Come Around Here No More. <laughs> Just have a look at what we've got here. Steve Wright, Easter Monday, Steve Wright, Easter Monday, Steve Wright, Easter Monday, Steve Wright, Easter Monday, Steve Wright. Thank you, thank you. Easter Monday, get out. <laughs> get out. <laughs> A lot of continuous music sweeps today. Also, we'll keep you up to date with the bank holiday sport and the traffic if you're on the roads. Laura's second love today at 3.35. Today we look at Easter customs. Yeah. We have the latest showbiz at 4.20. <gasps> we'll look at a new TV survey. We've got Where in the World, the new movies, and today, the return of Mr. Angry. That's not that is correct. about this afternoon. At the third stroke, the time at Radio 1 will be... A 3.09. Precisely. Chuck me over that travel, boss. Yes, so, Mr. Ryan. Well, the miserable bank holiday weather continues to cause problems for drivers with heavy rain leading to reduced visibility and strong winds affecting high roads and bridges. At Dover, rough seas in the Channel have resulted in the cancellation of this afternoon's jet foil flights to Ostend, and there are no hovercraft services to either Calais or Boulogne. On a brighter note, however, the work to rule by the customs officers isn't yet causing too many difficulties. <laughs> Well, even on Bank Holiday Monday, there's still upheaval in Greendale. And young... Oh, yes, indeedy. Excuse me. Get that, get that cliché DJ off, please. A 
and young Dr. Cassidy is in big trouble with the locals. Hear the latest in Laura's Second Love at 3.35 today. SEHB, that's the South Essex Hospital Broadcasting Roadshow at Brentfield Squash Club in Brentwood on Friday night. And all the people who helped us set up and lug the equipment around, very, very heavy sound equipment, that's from Richard and Colin and Simon and Adam. So congratulations to you, Lord. Today's topicality file, well, not much going on as you can imagine. It's pretty grim weather-wise. All the same, the roads are busy and we'll keep you up to date. The PM is still wooing the traders in Singapore and the politicians there. Wham are doing great in China. And there's the big CND rally today at Molesworth. We'll keep you up to date with that too. Bizarre story of the day, rate capping and other economy measures have created a new class of British victim. And that is toads. Aww. They're being run over in their thousands in some districts during the migration season because some councils have said they just can't afford new warning notices. Aww. Oh, that is... That is so sad. Uh, we're heartbroken. Excuse me. Yes, hello? Stay right. Yes. This is me again from Purley, Mr Angle. You're still on, are you? I'm still here. I've just come back from my holiday and you're still on. Yeah. I don't know what I've got to do to get rid of you. I've written to that general director bloke who's the bloke in charge. I've had a go at him. I've written to Johnny Beleg, who's your <laughs> controller, isn't he? <laughs> That's him, yeah. Well, I've written to him. He said there's nothing he can do to get rid of you. I don't know what's the matter with him. And I've written to that Michael Grader bloke as well, but you're still on. What's the matter with you? Well, it's not my fault. Well, you know, I mean, well, what can I say? All, I understand you're in stereo today. What's the matter? I thought you were supposed to be in London. I suppose that's coming out of my licence fee. Oh, you make more blood boil. Goodbye. You were in love 
game Now if you don't want no trouble If you don't want a scene Tip your hat with respect Cause I am Billy Jean Easter Monday, Steve, right.
afternoon. It's coming up on 3.29. There's one more night. Yes, do it again. Supporters of CND are still at RAF Molesworth in Cambridge this afternoon. If you're not involved in the demo, avoid the area if you can. There's about 2,000 people there at the moment protesting at the deployment of cruise missiles. And we've just been handed some more travel here. Travel news on Radio 1. And it's a message from our travel unit for drivers on the A26 in Sussex. As a result of an accident between Crowborough and Uckfield, the A26 is currently blocked in both directions at Huron's Gill. It's going to take a couple of hours to clear. Please find another route if you can or face long delays over the diversion. That's the A26 completely blocked midway between Uckfield and Crowborough. Also, I have to say hello to all the girls at Jetfoil who are listening right now in Dover. Hello to the girls at Jetfoil. It's 3.30 in Britain. Radio 1. Back in a moment, here's Dave Watson. Police in Bristol have mounted a big search for a seven-year-old boy who's been missing for two days. Don't waste your time listening to anything else. You'll only make yourself sick. Make yourself well again. And tune in to the Steve Wright Show on BBC Radio 1. Bye-bye now. <laughs> Steve Wright in the afternoon on BBC Radio 1. Radio 1. Stereo. Monday afternoon, and yes, it's Steve right in the afternoon. I wouldn't desert you. 
We're just actually listening right now to the Irish Grand National because we've got a horse running this afternoon. Trev, our afternoon boy tipster, has got Black Orchid to win in the Irish Grand National, which is currently running, the Jameson Irish Grand National. So we want Black Orchid to win. Thank you. There's also racing at Chepstow this afternoon and swimming at Withenshaw and motor racing at Thruxton. Now, Scout Job Week begins today. Goes on all week. Uh, the old Bobber Job thing that I used to do used to knock at people's houses. Bobber Job, Bobber Job, sir, Bobber Job. Go on, clear off. But now all that's gone. It's a bit passe to, to say Bobber Job now. Uh, what it is now is jobs and sponsored services for the community. So we wish it well. Now, later on in our True Stories, well, our True Story department today looks at Easter Monday traditions, and among the fresh Easter Monday True Stories, the man who claims to have been carried off by space aliens, and this one. And now it's time for another True Story. Kenneth Hatfield, impaled by a pole in a horrifying motorcycle accident, heroically remained conscious throughout his ordeal. And even fought off two vicious attack dogs before help arrived. I felt like I was on a skewer and was being served up to the dogs, says the 20-year-old lumberyard worker. Hatfield, who lives in Raglan, West Virginia, USA, had lost control of his motorcycle on a wet road and was slammed into a chain-link fence on a neighbor's property. It wasn't until I tried to stand up that I realized I was stuck on the road he says my first thought was panic I couldn't believe it was me sticking up there in the fence the detached fence rail had impaled him through his right arm near the armpit and extended four feet out of his back narrowly missing several major arteries but he's now okay and can't believe he ever went through the ordeal it's another true story on Steve Wright in the afternoon what a hero now, Alison Wright is 20 today. She's my cousin, and she's listening right now in Port Scatho near Truro in Cornwall. She's staying with Lady Cecilia McKenna. So, hello, Lady Cecilia McKenna, and happy birthday, Alison. Happy birthday from all the family and your dad, my Uncle Eddie. <laughs> our family favourites. BBC Radio 1, AM and FM, 22 minutes to 4. Laura's second love is next. Keep it here.
us Kevin Kitchen. That must have been a hell of a christening. 18 minutes to four, back holiday Monday afternoon. Now, let me just address myself to the fellows. Fellows, do you ever cry in front of women? Be honest. Do you ever cry when you're at the movies? Or if something, you know, is really upsetting you, do you cry in front of your lady? Come on, answer me. No, nobody's admitting it here. Well, I do. You're a silly old vain old trusting old silly sausage. I know, I know, I know. But now, in a new report out today, they are saying it's much o to cry. Details later. At the third stroke, the time at Radio 1 will be... Time for Laura's second Precisely. Laugh. Thank you. Laura's Second Love, the story of a woman's fulfillment. Time once again to join Greendale's beloved citizens for a heartwarming slice of life. Well, golly jeepers, you certainly are a most boisterous group of fellows, and I do hope you won't take it amiss if I have to use some rather stern language because of your actions here today. All right, young Dr Cassidy, don't come the raw prawn with us. Where's that money from the jumble sale? There's no need to be abusive, my good fellow. After all, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. If it's sticks and stones you want, then sticks and stones you're going to get. Very well. I've held myself in reserve as a good medical man always should, but I'm afraid I am becoming very provoked by your attitude. Look here, young Dr Cassidy, we've had enough of corruption in this town. Now the vicar shot through with the money and he did it with your help. Now all we want to know is what you're going to do to put things right. Why, now I recognise you, my good fellow, your little Charlie Crouch, the tiny child who was brought into this world by my wonderful medical father, old Dr Cassidy. Oh, the shame of it all, to see you falling into such bad company. Quit stalling, young Dr Cassidy. That money would have helped us build a much-needed hospital in Greendale. And all we're doing is asking you a straight question. Just what are you going to do to get it back? Whatever you do, don't miss the next episode of radio's most surprising feature story, Laura's Second Love. The story of a woman's fulfillment.
play that for the Radio 1 lot on their way back from Leeds. No doubt caught in traffic jams. I know, I know, what can I do? I'd love to be able to help you. Jill Pringle reports today that men crying is actually a turn-on for some ladies. They're tired of the macho image, some ladies are. Well-known people like Lionel Richie, Freddie Starr, Prince Charles and George Michael have all cried in public. Oh, no! Oh, yes. And furthermore, the women find it irresistible. Aww. It's true. So there we are. Be macho. Cry out loud whenever you want. It's coming up on 6 minutes to 4 at Radio 1. How are you doing this afternoon? You having a good time? Dan Fly is here again. It's the spring that brings them out. I think I've got it. That's got him, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that's got him. That's definitely got him. From May the 18th to December the 8th, 1983, the David Bowie Serious Moonlight Tour played 96 shows in 59 cities in Europe, North America and Asia. That's 12,270 minutes of music, 2,208 songs played for 2,601,196 members of the Truly Serious in 15 countries. Now, we won't be bringing you all of those shows later today, of course, but you will hear one of the best on Radio 1 at about eight minutes past five. David Bowie in concert with songs like Space Oddity, like Let's Dance and Young Americans. David Bowie's Serious Moonlight Tour. Seriously, folks, it is a biggie. Eight minutes past five. It's a silly time, I know, but there it is. David Bowie, Radio 1. Hear all about it. Eight minutes past five. Eight minutes past five? <laughs> <laughs> in the world well today's where in the world relates entirely to this time of year i'm going to give you some geographical details as to where i am in the world this afternoon now today i'm somewhere in the south pacific this is a bright beautiful place which was once used as a nuclear testing area <laughs> plenty of animals here now though as you can hear I'm south of the equator, I'm east of New Zealand, I'm west of South America. Remember, it's topical, where in the world am I? Today's where in the world relates entirely to this time of year, so think carefully. I'm south of the equator, east of New Zealand, west of South America. I'm somewhere in the South Pacific. This is a bright, beautiful place, and many animals roam free here. It was once used, however, as a newt beginning with the letter T. So we're all sitting around thinking here. I said, well, tomato. He said, yeah. I said, tangerine. <laughs> he said, yeah. Then I couldn't think of another one. And he said, a tin of pears. <laughs> I don't know. Coming up later on tonight, after the David Bowie thing, we have Janice Long on. Do we have Janice on today? Let me just check for you, because I don't want to get it all wrong. Hang on. Uh, we got Newsbeat. Uh, we got David Bowie, Serious Moonlight at 5 8. Then Bruno Brooks at 6. Then Janice Long at 8 o'clock. Now, this happens to be Janice Long from 7 30 until 10. And I say, upon Radio 1, you have the best woman. Exactly, but she's on at 8 tonight. Hang on just a moment. One of the afternoon boys coming in here. Steve? Yes? Are there any interesting Easter customs you can tell us about today? I'll have a look. Well, Vic, one of the best-known Easter Monday customs is that of the hair pie scramble and bottle kicking match at Hallerton in Leicestershire. <gasps> well, the pies are made of beef steak, hairs being out of season, of course, but otherwise the custom still follows its traditional course. Now, the rector of Hallerton divides the large pies, which have been baked in his kitchen, and tosses the slices to the crowds of people who assemble to scramble for them on the lawn. Woo! After the game is over today, the bottle kicking match begins. The bottle is not a glass one, but a miniature wooden cask of the sort known as plough bottles, which workmen formerly carried to the fields with their daily ration of ale or cider. The contest is between the men of Hallerton and those of the neighbouring parish of Medbourne, the latter reinforced by anyone else who wants to join in. Now, the object is to kick the little barrow over the brook, which marks the boundary of the parishes. There are very few, if any, rules, and the game is decidedly vigorous. 
that's an interesting little custom occurring today in Hallerton in Leicestershire. There we are, Vic. Interesting, eh? If you're feeling lonely, if you're feeling sad, then don't let the pressures of everyday life get you down. Give yourself a lift and tune in to Steve Wright in the afternoon show on BBC Radio 1. <laughs> Later, we'll tell you what movies are in the making at the moment. Uh, just looking at the telly tonight. Oh, my favourite comedian, Dave Allen. But on the other side, Long Good Friday. Oh, I think I'll go for Dave Allen and video Long Good Friday. I thought there was this nun in the church. Great. 4.05 at Radio 1, and there's an all-day rock and pop festival going on right now in Tunbridge Wells, featuring, among others, Gordon Giltrap. He is brilliant. I think we got the boss waiting outside. Hang, hang on just a minute. Does he want to come in? Yeah, he wants to come in. Hi, boss. Hi, Mr. Ross. <laughs> How are you today? I'm very well, thank you. Well, that's good news. Anything you want to say today? <laughs> I just want to say happy Easter to all listeners. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Anything else? <laughs> happy Easter to all the listeners in stereo VHF. Thank you. You were marvellous. Thank you. Across the UK, Radio 1. You'll always hear a better oldie on Steve Wright in the afternoon. Nothing but food. Getting the funk out of your face is socially acceptable. Tell you more of what you're talking for. You don't tell me now. I could be a lawyer, stratagem and loses. I could be a doctor. You'll always hear a better oldie. I'm Steve Wright in the afternoon.
Too busy thinking about my travel baby. News on Radio one. Well, the latest travel in the West Country traffic is flowing at a steady 1,000 miles an hour through Devon. <laughs> But further north in Avon, the M5 is getting rather congested in the Clifton area of Bristol. That's between junctions 15 and 17. Uh, just handed to me, the Cambridge police say that the A11 is best avoided between the East Coast and the M11 intersection. That's to the south of the city, as traffic is at a standstill in a number of places there. And further west, expect similar problems on the M1 at junction 24 in Leicestershire, when racing finishes for the day at Castle Donington. And traffic is flowing more easily than expected this afternoon, although there are a number of trouble spots in the Welsh areas. Uh, there are mile-long queues heading for home on the A55. Wait a minute. At Hlanvair Vecken, which is near Bangor. So avoid that area if you can too. Coming soon to Radio 1. 30 years of rock. Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. It's one small step for man, one Thirty years of rock. Saturdays at one. Radio one. Now it's time for another true story on the show that loves telling them. A 77-year-old man says he was taken aboard a spacecraft by four-foot-tall aliens wearing green suits and helmets, and a top UFO expert says his story could be true. <laughs> Recalling his terrifying abduction, the man of Aldershot, UK, revealed that a strange squat creature examined him under amber spotlight, then told him, you can go, you're too old and infirm for our purposes. He said the phenomenal encounter with outworldly beings occurred early in the morning late August 12th when he was fishing in a canal. I spotted the light in the sky coming toward me, he recalled. I thought it can't be an aeroplane because it's only 300 foot off the ground. <laughs> I can't do the voices. I wonder if it's a helicopter, he thought. It landed behind some bushes which blocked my view. Then I saw two shapes emerge from the bushes. They were about four foot high and dressed from head to foot in pale green coveralls. They had helmets of the same color with their visors blacked out. I stood frozen to the spot in terror. The older shot man who met aliens and the subject of another day. It's the Monday. Enough.
every time you go away, you take a piece of meat from me. If you're stuck in a traffic jam right now, only if you're in a stationary vehicle and you're listening to Steve Wright in the afternoon and you think the driver next to you is listening to Steve Wright in the afternoon, just give him the thumbs up, okay, right now. Go on, give him the thumbs up. Nice smile. That's it, thumbs up, nice smile. <laughs> yeah! I saw you do it. I love it. Coming up on 423... It is Bank Holiday Monday. Oh, I have to say good afternoon to all the folks working in Williams and Glynn's banks who are open today. And rock star Mick Jagger, uh, his girlfriend Jerry Hall is expecting another baby, according to the press today, 12 months after the birth of their daughter. Yeah. And Rolling Stone Mick, who's got two other daughters, is desperately hoping it'll be a boy. Well, let's hope so too. Congratulations. And a record three million... Thank you. A record three million hot cross buns were made in the last seven weeks by the 210 workers over at Wilkins Bakery in Bournemouth. That's a million more than last year. That's incredible. Three million hot cross buns. <laughs> Truly amazing. Truly amazing. Hello, this is Andy Peebles with news of yet another Radio 1 football match. Because, yes, the lads are getting together to play a game against BBC Radio Sheffield at Bramall Lane in Sheffield on Sunday the 14th of April with a kick-off at 3 o'clock. The Radio 1 team, captained by Peter Powell, will include Gary Davis, Mark Page, Dixie Peach, Bruno Brooks, Phil Kennedy and Janice Long. I have the pleasure of providing the commentary along with Dave Lee Travis and Chris Quinton will be making a guest appearance in the Radio 1 side. BBC Radio Sheffield promises some strong opposition, so it should be a really cracking match, and of course, it's all in aid of charity. Check it out, Radio 1 versus BBC Radio Sheffield, Sunday the 14th of April at 3 o'clock at Bramall Lane in Sheffield. If someone out there is thinking of switching off their radio, well, this programme is going on. Please don't. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye now. <laughs> Where'd that come from? Most of the UK is partly cloudy, I'm afraid, today. I know it's been a very, very bad bank holiday for weather. Breezy and cool. And around 50 degrees Fahrenheit on average. Terrible weather today. Glasgow is drizzly, 10 degrees. Belfast is cloudy, 11 degrees. Manchester has showers and 12 degrees. Cloudy in Birmingham and 13 degrees. Cardiff has showers, 12 degrees. London is currently cloudy, 14 degrees. And Plymouth has showers and 13 degrees. BBC Radio 1. 10.53 to 89 and FM. 88 to 90 megahertz. The heat is on.
saying, where in the world am I? Today's where in the world relates entirely to this time of year. Today I'm somewhere in the South Pacific. This is a bright, beautiful place which was once used as a nuclear testing area. I'm south of the equator, east of New Zealand, west of South America. Remember, it's topical. Where in the world am I? Six, eight. Well, it's Easter Monday, the 8th of April, 1985. One or two... ...racing today, but unfortunately couldn't race for some reason. For the second year running, uh, Mike was out of the Fiesta race down at Thruxton. So bad luck, Mike. What a shame. The Silk Cut Country Festival. Appearing today is Boxcar Willie. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a person, Boxcar Willie. Also, the Osmonds are there. There's also been a big parade in London featuring Britain's best workhorses today. Plenty of sport around, as I say. One or two bands to see this evening. Shaking Stevens is in Ipswich. The Country Festival over at Wembley and Tears for Fears in Sheffield. It's 24 minutes to five. Is this for me? It's for you. Hello. Yes, sir. This is me again from Purdy, Mr. Angry. Mr. Angry. I'm having to speak a bit quiet because of the people next door. Why, what's going on? Well, yes, sir, I've come back from my holiday. Have a good time? Oh, yes, I had a very nice time, thanks. Very nice. Good. Well, anyway, I came back from my holiday and I noticed the house is up for sale. Really? And you know, the books next door. 
Not Stanley. Not Stanley. No, no, Stanley's the other side. He's the other side, no, I've no, got... this is the Burks. OK, yeah. Sorry, the Burks. Right. House is up for sale. Uh-huh. Anyway, they've been showing a lot of people around today, so right long-haired yobbos, funny people looking around. Really? Oh, I stuck my head over the fence and said hello to a couple, and they ran off. Really? Oh, what's the matter with them? They seemed to be shocked when they heard my voice. They seemed to be frightened. <laughs> they looked horrified, and they ran off. Oh, what's that all about, then? It could be your personality, you know what I mean? I know what you're talking about. Well, they must they're frightened well, of you. Well, you've put them all up to it, haven't you? Nothing to do you've with me. FM 88 to 90.2 megahertz and AM 1053, 1089. Singing to Britain, Radio 1. Stop. <laughs> I forgot the title.